Hello, ladies. Welcome to Is It Gaming, the show where we decide if it's gaming or not. I'm your host, Ravioli Supremo. And I'm Saltman, the co-host. Today, we'll be playing Yogi Bear on the Wii, an exclusive game for the Wii. That's right. Now, I just want to remind you viewers that if I end up not liking this game, I'm going to tear down this entire damn city and turn it into a giant parking lot. But you can't do that. That's against the law. Do you think I care about what the law says? Licensed by Nintendo. For a second, I thought this wasn't licensed by Nintendo. Yeah. Isn't that great? This is from uh, freesounds.org, I think. This is uh, music track happy dot wave. Music, music track, music track uh, happy number three dot wave. No way. Monkey bar games that that they're impossible to get. That's crazy. I bet this is gonna have a completely different story than the than the movie, just like how the Smurfs won. Yes, like it. I got the pictures you took in the park last week when you were making your documentary, and all I have to do now is get these to the press. Thank you. This is great. Oh wow, that is the most realistic 3D model I've seen on the entire Wii. Wow. That is, I've never seen humans rendered this realistically. Yeah, don't want those pictures to blow away. Then you might um, have an object to collect. Uh oh, what's this? It's the picture's greatest enemy, the magnet on the stick, which steals the uh, metal picnic basket that was holding them down to prevent them from blowing away. Yeah. There they are, the famous Yogi and Boo Boo. I don't know, Yogi. That sounds like exactly the kind of thing Mr. Ranger minds. That is great. It's like they imported the models from the movie. And it's a windy day, and there go the pictures. That's horrible. Let's like, he he bought the license for those stock photos, and he got the the um watermark removed. So now he has to go and buy them again. He doesn't have any proof of purchase. He didn't download the receipt. Yeah, people just aren't coming like they used to. Are you fuck? One of them was one of them was a tabby cat. Those are very common. You're not wild ones. You don't see them out in the wild. Yeah, you do. You see them like they're everywhere. You can see a stray cat in like just a random spot. If you go outside right now, look, there's a stray cat. I thought Yogi was supposed to be smarter than the average. Oh yeah, he's just smarter than the average bear. Yeah, how smart is a bear really? Uh, not very smart, I don't think. He's not smart. Is smarter than the average bear means that he has enough intelligence to talk. That's it. Oh wow, it just boots. Oh us my right god, in it's there. new Super Yogi Bear Brothers Wii. Yeah, of course it's just a it's a it's a, it's a platformer like the Oh, okay. So here's how you belly flop while jumping. Does he say that every time? Oh, I see. It's it's a uh, Donkey Kong Country. It's a uh, Yogi Bear Country. Oh, I see. This makes him run fast. Yeah, this this is just new Super Mario Brothers. How do you slide? It told me how to slide. I just don't. I think it's like the first two. Here we go. Use the iconic Yogi Bear slide. I don't know why every Wii game has to have you shaking the Wii remote. Oops, I, I hit the bird. Oh, yeah. You guys remember the beginning of the level. I'm jumping when I'm supposed to be... Okay, yeah. Alright. You remember the first part of the level. Mm -hmm. Going down. 
Yogi Bear's going down in the DMs. Okay, so you know the the mayor of this of the Yogi Bear universe, right? Yeah. Mayor Brown, I think that's mayor his Brown. name is. Yeah, mayor now, Brown. Now, I keep he was also in that one movie called um Middle School The Worst Years of My Life. He was the principal in that movie. And I don't know if his name was like Principal Brown or something. But like his name he always plays the same type of character. He's always a guy in a suit who's either really incompetent or really like over the top evil. He's like, "I'm I'm going to stop these kids from having any fun in my middle school. I'm going to stop them from keeping this park alive. I'm going to turn it into a parking lot." Oh, oh, a checkpoint. Thank God. Anyway, so yeah. He's going to turn he's going to turn the he wants to become the mayor. He wants to become the mayor and oh. No, it's cuz it's there's a checkpoint here. Oh. He wants to become mayor, so he's like But then he gets exposed for not caring about what the law says. But did they did any of them care about what the law said? Yeah, technically, technically recording somebody without their consent and uploading it to, for people to see is breaking the law, so. Yeah, however, if you record people and don't post it anywhere and it's just for yourself, then you're allowed to have it. But that's the thing, they did it specifically to uh, ruin his reputation, which I think public slander is also against the law. And remember... Ignorant of the law is not an excuse. You gotta remember. Mm -hmm. Derek Savage said it himself. He's yeah. the master of the law. If I jump into this cloud, will I die? Oh, no, I just get... Hey, that's not your line. You don't say cowabunga. But yeah, if you record people and take and pictures Yogi. of them without, without their consent, it does not matter if you're not putting it anywhere. I guess. I mean, they can sue if they want. But there's nothing against the law. You see, what people, what the people say is different from what the law, what the law says. Yeah. You can take, you can, you can record all of the baddies at the beach if you want. It does not matter. Yeah, you just as have to keep you... that shit to yourself, I guess. Yeah. That's just so stupid. It, it is more like Donkey Kong Country in, like, you only have two hit points, but only when you get the armor. I feel like it's a cardinal sin, though, to compare this game to Donkey Kong Country. Well, that's ironic, because... Because you could have also... You could have hit the I enemy. I keep dying to the goddamn porcupine. Okay, I... All right. Why doesn't his attack- he is so weak, he doesn't even kill his opponents, he just- He just, uh, distracts them, knocks them over. Then he'll jump near a cloud of poison mist and then get, like, hypnotized by it. Oh yeah, there's a thing in here. I could use this for the next level. But if you go back, is there something? I don't really care if there's any collectibles in oh, this yeah, game. Oh yeah, right. I forgot. This is the... we're not we're not genuinely playing this. This is just for the video. I've always kind of hated D-pad on the uh, on the Wii remote because it's really small and it's like doesn't really have the best buttons. This was never a great controller. I guess for some games it was, but like Mario Galaxy it was okay, but the games that Nintendo made, the controller was really good for it, but in this game it's just it's just not right. I would always play with a uh, Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Speaking of which, I, w I do want to know uh does this game actually work with the Nunchuck? That might make it a whole lot easier. I prefer to use that. No, it doesn't. You didn't even bother. So I have to use the shitty sideways Wii, Wii remote. 
I don't hate the Wii Remote, I just think it think it's not good for these types of games. It hurts my thumbs. We did have like a third party Wii Remote that had individual D-pad in it. It was actually not bad. It the D-pad was pretty good on it. I feel like Oh, is this the What are you talking about? He was just sitting there. You could have had any opportunity you could to just take the damn picture, but you chose not to. Oh, there it is. Oh, do I take a picture? Oh, hey, boo-boo, I am at the end of the level. Sorry, Yogi. I didn't take a picture of the animal. Oh, boo-boo, you useless piece of shit. Just slide down the thing. No, you're not. You died like eight times to the porcupines in the first level. Yeah, like, there's no vines in the forest. That Especially that Yogi Bear would swing off of. This is just, that's the thing that Donkey Kong does. He swings off vines. He kills porcupines. He falls in the river and dies. Also, it doesn't really... These games never understand- they never really explain why there's, uh, floating platforms. We're just supposed to accept the fact that, uh, wood can just float in the air. And that's- that's just how life works. I guess if talking bears exist, then floating wood can exist too. I think that's- that's probably, uh, wrong, but, uh... You know, I've never had more than one picnic basket, so I, I can't really judge by that. Springs? Is that spring sound of, stock sound effect? It is! It's a stock sound! Oh, okay. Yeah, you no, guys No, fun fact. Did you know that, uh, did you know that Resident Evil Remake uses several stock sounds in, in, uh, in rapid succession? What do you mean? I was watching the cutscenes. And the, there's a part where the arms come out of the character and it plays like the stock, uh, the stock squelching noise. Like, you know, the one that plays in Postal. Like the, like the, <laughs> that one? Yeah, the one in like Postal, you know, the one in Postal 2 when uh, you smash a, well, smash a guy's head in. Yeah. Like, that's the noise. And it even plays the, uh, the fire noise, you know, like the, <laughs> every single time. It's not even like pitched up or pitched down to make it a bit different or it's not a different fire noise. Or a different uh, squelch noise. It's so funny because that sound same. effect. That sound effect is like decades old. It was in Mario Galaxy and it was in Twisted Metal Black. I know. Like I. And I've... these are in uh, the. And meanwhile, meanwhile, the original Resident Evil Four uh, uses uh, not those sound effects. Yeah, but but that's the thing though. I've been trained to pretty much recognize all of those sound effects because they're from like a free sound library that a lot of game developers will use i'm not a sound guy really i just i just steal sound effects from youtube i download them yeah honestly i think they were too busy uh trying to get trying to make sure that they can make the game uh with uh with the main character and on one side of this on one side of the screen third person like uh every other game that's come that's come out you see this nowadays. is why the yogi bear game is so innovative because if the Yogi Bear game came out this year, Yogi Bear would be on the uh, left side of the screen, taking up one third of the screen and be uh, collecting items. Have you seen that uh, Resident Evil meme where it's like, uh, what if you boot up the Resident Evil remake and Ashley is just like a mouse now? Just a tiny little mouse called Mousely? Yeah, that's, that's kind of funny. I didn't realize that was- I saw Rule 34 of that before I saw the actual post. But yeah, the, the joke is that all the characters are realistic, but Ashley has just changed and she's just a tiny little cartoon mouse. Yeah. I think that's kind of funny, but if- but if I were, uh, playing that version of the game, I would hope there was an eating function, at least, so that you could, uh, you know, the first thing I'd do is just- <laughs> She'd be like, Leon, what are you doing? And I'd be like, snack time. Now, you know, I don't actually enjoy eating rats. It's just that, you know, these these times of inflation are tough. You know, you have to, have to kind of settle with what you can get. Where am I going? For a dip. 
I feel like you can though, Yogi. You can probably have. I think the the minimum amount of uh, picnic baskets is one, but the maximum should be about five. Yeah. That's probably if you have five. If you have over five picnic baskets, that's too much. I think I think you need to reevaluate how many picnic baskets you own after that one. Definitely. Can I tell you about this dream I had? Uh, it's sure, it's not ahead. related to Yogi Bear, but it's like it's pretty funny. It happened. So you know the Axel and Harlem meme, right? Yeah. Where it's like I got the new forty on the D. Yeah, that's a pretty funny one, I yeah. guess. Well, I have a newfound appreciation for that after my dream that I had. So I was at Walmart, right, and I was at the DVD section. But the thing about this this Walmart is that the DVD section there was like four DVDs. I think there was like the Sopranos, but one of them was a really sketch-ass looking DVD of Axel and Harlem. And I don't know what about it, it was just, it was just so odd. It, it was not even just a normal DVD cover, it was as if somebody went to a, to a home printer and just printed it out on basic paper and then put it into, uh, put it into a DVD sleeve. But what was weird about that is that out of the four DVDs on the shelf, two of them were Axel and Harlem, but the other one was the French version. Now, as if the normal version was, like, already kind of weird and sketchy looking, the French version was just, like, a circle with the guy's face in it, with the main character's face in it, over a green backdrop, and there was a silhouette of a, um... French lady smoking a cigar or cigarette. It was it and the title the title I can remember, it was like it it didn't even translate to Axel and Harlem in English. It, it was just like a a random French sentence. Out of like morbid curiosity or like seeing this made me incredibly angry, I guess. In the dream, because I was I act differently in my dreams or whatever. So I go up to the to the register at the DVD counter. And there's this chick there, and she's like, she's not wearing a, uh, she's not wearing a Walmart vest, so I'm like, does she even work here? So I go up, and I'm like, excuse me, do you work here? Does Walmart employ you? <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm threatening her almost, like, do you work here? I need to know this. Be, and I'm holding the DVD K, I'm holding the French one in my hand, and I'm pointing to this, what is this? I'm like, you should not be selling this. This is pornography. I get so unreasonably angry with her, and she's just like, eh, I'm listening to music. And, like, it was just so... It At the time, it was really funny. Because when I woke up from that dream, I remembered almost everything about it to the point where I could perfectly recreate what the DVD cases looked like from the dream. Really? So I did that. I did that in pic collage, so here, let me pull them up. It's quite, it's quite humorous. So this was the one, it, it was a DVD, it, it had nothing on it, it just had Axel and Harlem, had the characters on it, and it had the DVD video in the corner. Now here's the French one. <laughs> it's exactly how, this is exactly how I remember it in the dream. It, qu'est-ce que c'est? That translates to what is it in French. So, just like I was saying, it doesn't tra it doesn't even what translate it? to it doesn't even translate to Axel and Harlem in English. It's just what is it? Yeah, what is it? It, it? it that's exactly how I was feeling. Maybe it was symbolic of like how I was actually feeling. You know, uh, you know, dreams mean it doesn't matter what you're dreaming about. All dreams mean something. Yeah, maybe it was a, an awakening. Oh, I get to take a picture now. Whoa. Whoa, hang on. I have Parkinson's. Let me just... Take... Hang on. Hang on, Yogi. Hang on. That was a good one. I wonder what the uh, animal is. Yeah, it doesn't matter how weird your dreams are. Every dream means something. Yeah. I mean... And, and one thing I noticed, too, is that often, if you remember something from your dream, it's because that certain thing was something that happened to you during the day before you went to sleep. Like, I think 
up to that point i had seen like every single variation of the axel and harlem meme so maybe it just implanted itself into my brain and it materialized into a, a dvd copy at walmart but but like i said it was as it was as if somebody printed out their own dvd and just sort of put it there yeah it's it was so odd like i didn't really i didn't even know what to think of it could you imagine though just going to walmart and actually seeing that i would purchase it immediately but i feel like if you actually went up to a real walmart cashier and just said yeah i'd like to purchase this they'd be like what the fuck is that that's not we that's not even a dvd from here i mean just look at it it's like somebody just printed it out and i'm like yeah sure but i'm i'm interested yeah, sure, I'll, bud. I'll buy this at a high price i'll buy it for like 20 bucks i feel like the cave levels should have a more uh like darker sinister sounding uh soundtrack but they couldn't find that on uh, stockmusic.com. I guess so. Wait, is this a stealth mission? Yogi Bear has stealth missions. Why? Yeah, you. We. Well, I didn't even do anything. Uh oh. Oh, but I have an idea this time. Aha, what? I'm helping you out. Why are you getting me in trouble for this? So what is my- what is the problem here? I- I gotta steal the picnic basket? Why is this a necessary thing to add to your game? I don't want the picnic baskets even. I mean no harm to these people, I just need to get the photos of the- of the damn endangered animals so that I can get past the level. You are not that smart, I'm gonna be honest. You you profess your smartness constantly, but you always get caught by someone, or you fall into the water, or you hit the goddamn stupid-ass porcupines all the time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Honestly, this, this is... Like a shitty Mario Maker level, I'm gonna be completely honest. Yeah, I you could recreate this in Mario Maker. But why would you spend your time? You could spend three hours recreating this game in Mario Maker. Or you could be, you know, applying for a job. Or you could be, uh, you know, selling your house. You could be paying your mortgage, you know? You could be doing literally anything else other than playing Yogi Bear, remaking the game of Yogi Bear in, in a much better game. You don't need that. You don't need it. I know I don't need it, but like, I'm, I'm king of the pie, you know? That's not what he said. I wish he said I'm king of the pie. Yeah, that's just, that's, that's just the iconic uh, Yogi Bear catchphrase. Yeah, especially considering that animal was pretty slow itself, boo-boo! You a stupid a bitch! Oh, you fucking boulder. Hey, hey, you know that you know the um state, you know the state boulder of in yeah. the United States? It's you know, you wanna know why they call it boulder? Why? Because that's where uh the boulder was invented by uh, Maria S. Boulder when she Not, discovered no. when she discovered a very round rock formation and she was like oh this can kill a bear in full pot and pan armor I will name it after me uh, Maria S. Boulder but here's the thing when they when uh, the citizens of Boulder tried to pass it off as oh yeah we discovered the Boulder that was us we were the ones who uh, came up with that so the citizens of Boulder said, Oh, that's us. We discovered the Boulder. And wrote it down in history. Boulders were named after the city and not a woman. Happy, uh... Oh yeah, Women's Month is over. I forgot about that. We don't have to be celebrating women's accomplishments anymore. 
I wonder how high you can jump with the spring. I wonder if you can eventually jump so high in the though. Okay, never mind. Wouldn't it be funny if you jumped out of the skybox and then just sort of fell into perpetual limbo? He finds himself in null space. He's yeah. just like, holy shit, boo boo! No picnic basket in the world is gonna prepare me for the shit I'm about to see! I, I think there was like a few YouTubers that canceled boo boo on Twitter. Why? What happened? I what think. What did boo boo say? I think he said that, um, like, brown bears are, are, uh, inferior to polar bears or something. Like, I don't really know what he said. It was quite controversial. Just like how the developer's death is going to be quite controversial after I find out who developed it. How, who I, after I find out who made this shitty-ass level design. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Maybe the level design isn't actually shitty. Maybe it's even better than Mario Galaxy. It's just that I didn't kick the circuit key, and that's, that's why. That's probably it. That's it. That's all. I, that's what I'm doing wrong. All I had to do was kick the circuit key and buy the best Technic, and then I'll be good at Yogi Bear on the Wii. It's it's just that simple. It's just common sense, you know. It's just common sense. And it really. It really answers the question of has he really been far, even has decided to use, even gonna want to look more like. Go further, and even more decided to use. I go far, even has decided to use every day in my daily life. I mean, who doesn't? It's a missed opportunity when you don't. I yeah. wonder if this game actually got uh, Dan Aykroyd to voice Yogi Bear. Mm. Who voiced uh, Boo Boo Bear, though? Uh, Justin Timberlands. Justin Timberland. They probably just got a guy who sounds like Yogi Bear. That's what they do for a lot of these games. But I think when they started making the Marvel games, like... Back when the MCU was in its early days, when they were making, like, Captain America 1 and fucking, I don't know, Thor the first one. They actually got... Uh, Chris Hemsworth to voice in the game as Thor. If I if my knowledge is correct, do you want to try this game? Uh, uh sure. Yeah, you you know the controls. I just want to search no, up don't. the I just want to search up the voice actor of Thor the game. Yeah, Thor God of Thunder on the Xbox had Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston voicing Thor and Loki. There is not a fucking old ass man with big ears named Yogi Berra. There is. By the way, here here's a picture. I'm gonna bonk it up on screen. <laughs> Holy shit! They actually did get Dan Aykroyd. Holy crap! Of it's a good idea. Boy, it's lunchtime. Holy shit! I'm actually surprised they got. They got like the same guy who played him in like in Ranger Smith in the movie, and they got T J Miller in this game too. Oh wow! I don't get Justin Timberlake. I'm surprised. I was like, I was about to say, oh, they got somebody who sounds like Dan Aykroyd. No, they got actually Dan Aykroyd to voice Yogi Bear in the game. I feel like Yogi Bear would have been a more successful movie if uh, Yogi Bear did the Thug Shaker. Uh, he did though, didn't he? Oh shit, you're right. Hang on. He likes big yeah, butts and he cannot he, lie. Bro, it. Holy shit. <laughs> I was I was about yeah. to make a joke about him doing the thug shaker, but he actually does. Yeah, you know you know that he actually Yogi do... Bear be thugging. I actually saw the real video today, unfortunately. Of what? Of the thug shaker. Somebody uploaded the full video to YouTube. And I don't know, I guess it's just the, the novelty of of the humor in that situation. If I feel like it, I'll find a video from like I don't know browsers and it'll be the shittiest acting possible and I'll just laugh laugh incredibly hard at it mainly because the acting is really bad but also because I think what they say is sometimes pretty funny the foreign stuff's really good though okay but there's this one I forget what the video is called but it was like it's a two-parter and at the very end, uh, they were in the bathroom for the part of it. And at the very end, 
uh, some fucking Sesame Street character shows up and he's like, Mr. Grump. And he's like, hey, what are you doing having sex in my bathroom? And he's he's a puppet, like he's the Muppets, right? Like from, from Sesame Street. And they're like, oh my god, it's Mr. Grump. And it's like, yo, that's right, get out of my house. And he, and now, now in the storyline of the video, this happens, this just happens. There's no uh, setup for this Muppet character. He is not established at the beginning of the first part of no the video. No Muppets are established. There is no, there's no appearance of any, there is no reference to any Muppet character. He just shows up. He's just sort of there. Like, he has no reason to be there other than just a non-sequitur joke at the end for no reason. And that actually kind of pissed me off a little bit, because, like, if you're gonna set up such a- such a funny fucking character, such a funny little Muppet, then once you at least establish- Oh, man, I sure hope that a Muppet doesn't show up later in this video. Once you establish that, like, earlier, you would think, right? Yeah, like, I would have established it even in just- even- I would have had the first scene be just- Hey, it's me, Mr. Grump. I'm going to be in the end of this video. That's that's even better than just not having him show up at all, right? Like what would you do? What I would, would do? I would just like have him referenced, you know. Yeah, I'd be like, "Oh, we're in Mr. Grump's house. This is where Mr. Grump, the iconic no, it's puppet like, character I, I, lives." I, I hope that Mr. Grump doesn't show up Ugh, would... what's Mr. Grump going to do? He's going to he's going to like puke on us. Oh. Climb up the vines. Yeah, the iconic Yogi Bear vines. Yeah. The iconic Yogi Bear six second videos. They won't catch you on the vines. Because you gotta remember, you gotta walk past them when they're not looking. No, you want, they're not looking when they have the... Uh, oh. So you could have probably gone. I could have, but... <coughs> See, it's not... That, that, you had to wait now. Well, it doesn't matter, because I did make it now. I really do think that, that during those sections, they should have just purchased the rights to the Metal Gear Solid soundtrack. No, you jumped too early. You gotta remember, jump, jump when the turtle is out of the water fully. And that's how you get into the, that's how you get past it. There you go. You got it now. And now you get to take a picture of that. Is the alligator snapping turtle actually endangered? No, you gotta have it in the middle. No, you see, cause, cause you, you press the button once it's, once it's green, you, you, you press the button. You press the button, you press the button. There you go. You just you just you press the fucking button when it's green though. That's how okay. You well, you know, I was trying to press the button when it was green, but you know, it's you can the spam. Thing, you now, can here's spam the problem the button. though. When the when the button is green for uh, half of a millisecond, you can just you keep pressing the button then. Just press it multiple times. Sorry, Yogi. Trail's closed. But Mr. Ranger, I'm on a mission for the other Mr. Ranger. Well, nobody gets past Ranger Jones. I have a merit badge and trail blocking. Merit badges, eh? That, gives me an idea. that is T.J. Miller. Collect one merit badge and return to. Oh. Oh, so we can't progress then. Uh, so we have to find a merit badge, I guess. You guys remember the bowling level? It's the boulders. Oh. Okay. I just have to find one merit badge is all. It'll probably be easy. So I have to try desperately to find one merit badge while simultaneously managing to avoid the real enemy of the game, the shitty D-pad. See, there's our there's our thing. We just got to get up there. But you see, here's the thing. 
um, developers, it's really easy actually to find your home address. Damn it! You know, you should get the checkpoint at the end of this section. Just to be uh, safe, because cause then you can don't have to play through. Give me the fucking armor. I want the armor. But don't you remember the boulder can <coughs> defeat you from without armor? Oh yeah, I forgot. The boulder is shitty and doesn't have the same rules as everything else for no reason. You could have slid down the hill. Oh, I didn't see a hill. I just saw yeah, the skunk. Yeah, you stood. Yeah, there, well, well, there, there, there oh, was the hill. If it's a tiny, if it's even a tiny slope, you can just slide through. So get that checkpoint so that you don't have to do that again. Yeah, it's gonna piss me. <laughs> it's gonna piss me off if I fall down. And... Remember, this is supposed to be kids are supposed to be able to do this level. Like little babies. Aha, yes. Received the badge. And now that I have, I can successfully... Oh, I keep the badge! I keep the badge! Yeah! I keep... You, you keep falling off the cliff, that's what you do. Okay. I'm smart this time. I won't lose the last life. I'll jump at the right time. Yes. Everything's going right according to plan. Oh. Oh, it's oh, like God. in uh, Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures where... Every level looks the exact fucking same. No, th no, never mind. This is the one with the with the big fish. No, nah, that's not that's not a big fish. That's a small fish. That's a real small fish. I was hoping for a real big fish. He's smarter than the average fish now. Holy shit! He's smarter than the average porcupine, bear, a fish. Who's next? He's gonna be smarter than the average, uh, liberal. A hey, got him. Walmart has dried out my throat right now. I can't. Fucking do Walmart is the cause of everyone's problems. I feel like if Walmart shut down just now, if Walmart shut down just now, nobody would be that sad about it. But Supremo, everyone would be out of a job. Work at Costco. I don't fucking care what you do. Fucking, you know, stream Franklin on the DS. I don't give a shit. Don't say that, because then people are going to want us to do Franklin on the DS. Well, here's a message for all the people who keep on us to do uh, Franklin on the DS. Uh, I, I can guarantee, now that I put that suggestion into your heads, you're going to want us to play Franklin on the DS. If I see a single comment on this video asking us to play... Franklin on the DS. Consequences will never be the same, okay? You will be blocked from the channel. You will be blocked from commenting. I will personally come to your house and block you in real life. Like, you are done. You are donezo if you comment, can you play Franklin on the DS? I can guarantee and tell you that Franklin on the DS would probably be gaming, though, if we ever did play it. However, I do remember, like, the the missions after the first three were really shitty, and, like, there was a ten-minute hide-and-seek game that pissed me off when I was a kid. And I was like, bruh, Franklin on the DS? More like Franklin on the, on the D's nuts. And I fucking killed Franklin right then and there. I stopped watching the Franklin show. I didn't watch the Franklin movie. I didn't fucking read any of the Franklin books. Franklin was canceled after that. Franklin is a turtle, by the way, in case you were wondering. Smarter than the average turtle? I'm smarter than the average bush! I, I'd do the voice better if my throat wasn't all dry from Walmart. 
I'm smarter than the average fish. I'm smarter than the average pie. I'm smarter than the average checkpoint. He's just smarter than the average everything now. But once this fucking fat bastard says he's smarter than the average human, that's when I fucking say, you know what, that's it. Yogi Bear, you are cancelled. No more TV series for you. You are done. Nobody will ever follow you on Twitter, ever. Not anymore. How, how are you expected to get this? How are you expected to get that? Oh, I see. There's a turtle. Never mind. I thought you had to get some, like, shitty, terrible power-up that was like... Okay, boo-boo! I'm going to use this power-up to walk on the water like Jesus Cristo! Wow, this is- this looks way more of a risk than a reward. Like- Yeah, like, how is this risky? N none of these even add up to a full, uh, one-up. <coughs> how is that a reward in the slightest? It doesn't even play funny music. It doesn't even go, do 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 like in Donkey Kong. Honestly, all this does is just make me feel like I want to play Donkey Kong right now. Because in Donkey Kong, at least he killed his enemies. Instead of making everyone look like a... Like a pee... Like a pee hole. Yeah, you look like a pee hole right now, dude. I feel like a pee hole. My fucking wrist hurts from playing this game. It's giving me goddamn carpal tunnel. That's why you gotta play games that... If I don't play a Wii game that, that utilizes the nunchuck, then I'm not playing the right so game you gotta play games you gotta play games with uncon uncomfortable control schemes now more often <coughs> that doesn't help anyone yeah because that gets your hand used to uncomfortable controls that's i don't why want I, my hands to that's be why used i was that. so much better at the game than you that's why i got past the area so so easily like you had so much trouble with uh with sliding i did it first try every single time yeah most forest animals don't bother you if you don't disturb them, Yogi. Cougar. What do you know? Cougars must find photography pretty disturbing. Let's see the pick. Oh, uh, I thought... I don't know why, but I expected it to just be the most gory, bloody, like, horrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. Come on. From a kid's game... No, actually, I, I was thinking that, too. So, Yogi Bear, uh, is it gaming? What do you think, Salt? Not really. I, I think that it's kind of a shitty version of Mario, Wii, and uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. And you could argue the fact that, oh, it's supposed to be for kids. Then how, how are they supposed to get the collectibles and all that stuff? How are they supposed to do the platforming you know are they supposed to play the game you know mario's for kids but that game you is actually they make it so that you can play it as a functional game and not a shitty Yeah, you know, i never understood why these shovelware games exist like these movie tie-in games exist because like if you really think about it who's gonna want to buy yogi bear on the wii over super mario galaxy because that game would eventually go on sale for like 30 bucks. And Yogi Bear is like 12 bucks. I guess Grandma's going to get the game for, for a little grandchild on the Wii. But, but it, and it, it bothers me even more is that people often have like really good memories of these games. And be like, oh man, this was my childhood. Because they, they couldn't afford to get any of the actual real good games. So they often have way better memories of, like, these shitty ones than they do of, uh, like, a good game. Yeah. Me, personally, I had a lot of these games. <laughs> I would say, yeah, yeah, sure, I, I remember playing them as a kid, but then I'll go back to them, like, now, and I'll be like, what, why did I even fucking bother playing this? This game sucks. I know, I, I, like, I used to have such fond memories of this uh, Go Diego Go Dinosaur Adventure game. That I would play nonstop actually kind of does remind me of this Yogi Bear game. Okay, all these all these games for kids are always like three D, like three D two D platforming games. Like, mm -hmm. you know, 
2.5D, I think that's what it's there. It's officially called. Like yeah. all these Wii ones, like, you know. <coughs> I think they're easy to develop as all, well, and that's why there were so many that were just cranked out. Yeah. I guess, I mean, I did learn about this in economics, but if you offer something for a low price, there's a chance that more people will want to snag that then, you know, if you offer a game for a very high price, people will want to buy it less because it's more expensive. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's why these games <laughs> exist, because the developers figure if they make a game and sell it for cheap, they'll actually turn in more profits. But, but yeah, so Yogi Bear is not gaming. And uh, I just want to clarify, no, we will not be playing Franklin on the DS, despite what you may think from what we have said in this video we are not going to be fr playing franklin on the ds we will not be playing that game on the next episode of